your fiery trials I'm doing a work in you When I'm through, I'm gonna lift you up For the whole wide world to see That I am the I am And what I say, that's what I'll do So it's not I, oh no But the Christ that lives in me Trust the sweetest dream, but I wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ, the solid rock I stand, and every other ground is sinking sand. On Christ, the solid rock I stand, and every other ground is sinking sand. It's not I, oh no, but the Christ that lives in me. It's not. It's not I, but it's the power that worketh within me. Good evening to your trust listeners. Me, eh? I do it by myself. Once again, it's Pastor Green with the Gospel Ride. You're listening to 92.9 FM Choice Radio. No, no, no. Streaming live on WestIndianPeople.com, Choice Radio. Yeah. Oh no, but the Christ that lives in me. Eh? Oh, it's not I. No, 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 but the part of Just remember, it's not you, but it's the Christ that lives within you. And only what, you know, what he does inside of you that come on the outside that make others see and know that Christ is real. Yes, sometimes you cry, sometimes you laugh. How did you do it? How did you make it? We really want Numbers and students, 347-663-8638. Oh, if you want to listen by telephone, it's 213-493-0146. Oh, 213-493-0146. Eternal God and most gracious Father, we thank you for this day. We pray, Lord, that you will guide and keep us. And we thank you for the word of God. Speak who came and with your word, O oh God, in heaven. And we pray that as you will go with inspiration and songs tonight, God, that your people's heart will be blessed. And they, you know, they will say what was good to listen to this radio wave. So they could hear another word coming from thee, O oh God. Not our word, God, but your word. Guide us, God, and keep us. Continue to provide for us and bless us. And bless this radio station and help it to go higher heights and deeper depths in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Jesus' blood and his righteousness I 
dare not trust the sweetest frame But I wholly lean on Jesus' name On Christ the solid rock I stand And every other ground is sinking sand On Christ the solid rock I stand And every other ground is sinking sand It's not a On Christ the solid rock you stand Strike a blow to the devil tonight and keep on scoring for Jesus. And just remember, it's not human, it's the power that's working within you. Don't try to do it on yourself. On my own. Oh, By yourself, you're weak. No, 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 no. But in I, Jesus Christ, you're strong. No, it's not I. Oh no, but the Christ that lives in me. Oh, it's not I. No, 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 no. But the part of that's working on me. It's not I. Mm, but the Christ that lives in me. It's not. Y'all listen to the gospel right in Pastor Green. Hey, it's not I, it's not I, it's not I, but the Christ in me. It's not I, it's not I, it's not I, but the part of that's working on me. It's good to know that we have a Christ within us that works in us, through us, and for us. It's good to know that we have a Savior, which is Christ Jesus. It's good to know that we have one that sacrificed his life on Calvary's cross for your sins and mine. It's good to know that we are pardoned if we set ourselves in position to be pardoned and do his will. It's good to know that the end of our righteous and, and our journey with Christ and in Christ through and through him all things are possible. So let us give him praise. Let us give him thanks. Because he's worthy to be praised. You know, God, God is a good God. You see, whatever we go through sometimes when we, you know, live our lives while we want to live it. We do the things we want to do. And then when we come back to God, you know, when we come back we say, Lord, forgive us. He's willing and able to forgive and ready, waiting. Every day. Yes. Calling his name right now, Jesus. Every day.
want you to stand up this time and play it. Just think about it for a moment. And a 2.9 FM. And I didn't have to despair. Lord, you know you told me that you'd be right there. It seemed like all my problems, they'd just be over. I'm not going to worry about it no more. They already won. Oh, Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Every day. Come on, let's walk it out. Come on. Man is a son. Yes, 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 it's good to know that every day his name is the same. Whether it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, his name is the same. And all you have to do is say, yes, Lord, to your will and to your way. Every day his name remains the same. So as, as we look forward 
to praise him. Let us praise him because he's worthy. It's really on the air. Hello there, son. How are you doing? Oh, uh, how are you doing, Dad? We know everybody looking for you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. How's everybody doing? Everybody's doing fine. Um, you know, the young man in the program before me, he asked about oh. you. So he's yeah? Gonna, he's going to put on an <laughs> yeah, AVP of well, you. I, I was listening to part, uh, the end part of what they're carrying on now. Yes, yes. I was dozing out, so I said, I want to... Just wait until you come on and say hi to you. And That's let you know that it, uh, I talked to Megan and it, right. I gave her hold the... On, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on one second, all right? Uh-huh. Hold on. That was Daddy Green. Nice to hear from you. All the way I'll go, the four corners of the earth. Oh, yeah. Well, to my sister out there in Indiana, if you're listening, oh, greetings oh. coming to you from Choice Radio. He's my soul. And this is Gospel Rider, your brother, Pastor Green. My I pray. My Hope you and the family are doing well. It's good. It's so good that God's word can stretch everywhere. No matter how far you are, how close you are, His word is good. His word is strong. His word is sufficient. When temptation comes your way, the devil round here. Keep on fighting on. Oh Lord, I depend on thee. Oh, he's my soul. Oh Lord, light up my burden. I pray. Hear my wounds, reduce my pains. Give me strength. 
most of all, Lord, give us strength. So long, light on your burdens. Oh, yeah. Yes, Lord, we know you are able to do it for us, Lord. Greetings to the Birch family in Texas. Hope you are listening. Give a call. We lost contact somehow. Yes, God is able to fix all things. God is able to do all things. God is able to take us from wherever we are to wherever we want to go. And that's such a good thing because he's gone all by himself. And only what we do for him will last. I know that you thought it was gone forever. Gospel Rally and Pastor Green coming to 92.9 FM. But that's not the way that it works for the children of the Lord. Christ is your shepherd and he's taking care of it all. Oh, yes, sir. And he will restore what the enemy has so learned. Keep it in the forefront. For our God so loved the world and he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believing in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And that's we are working on everlasting life. Hope you don't forget to work on that. Of the Psalm 146 and 8, it says, The Lord opened the eyes of the blind, the Lord restored them that are bowed down, the Lord loveth the righteous. So you have to be righteous in the sight of God. Oh, what the enemy has so 
He will show me still what the enemy has took me from you. Special greetings to all our Bronx listeners tonight. He will restore what the enemy has stolen. What can you receive? And he will give you. Yes, he will. Start moving back to me. All we have to do is trust God and he will do the rest. Don't forget to pray. Don't forget to worship don't forget his goodness. Yes. Our Father. It's always time to pray. Who art in heaven. Hallowed Lord be thy name. Two point nine FM Choice Radio. He takes it away. He is the potter, and I am mm-hmm. the clay. Pleasant good evening to you, Pastor Gray and Mr. Hilton. Be 
tonight. Two point nine FM Choice Radio. Sincere, tell the Lord, I will go.
all my friends everywhere listening tonight. Greetings coming through from Choice Radio. In the seven seas, I'll declare your majesty. Send me, Lord, I will go to the ends of the earth. But, Lord, I want you to just send on your Holy Ghost fire. Send your fire, 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 Holy Ghost fire. Send your fire again, Holy Ghost fire. Send your fire. Send it down, Lord. Send it down. Down below. Send down healing again. Holy Ghost healing. Send down blessing. Blessing, blessing, Lord. Holy Ghost blessing. Yes, Lord, we need your favor. Send down favor again. Oh, Lord, Holy Ghost favor. Send down. Send down favor. Send down blessings. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost blessing. Holy Ghost fire. Lord, have mercy. We need all we can get from you, Lord. Good evening to you, Brooklyn. To that mansion. Yes, don't come searching. Just like a man 
Let's It's revival time on Choice Radio. Some might be low, but make it go down in your heart. Yes, Jehovah, guide me, I'm under the rock. You know what? Sit and we're going to upset. Just because they blew my soul. Just because they blew my soul. That's why it feels so sad. Just because they blew my soul. That's why it feels so sad. She never knew Jesus would die. After Mexico was crucified. He rose and he lived that day. Jesus, he's the mommy, very best friend. She never knew Jesus would die. Why is it 
Love the Christian way. Love the Christian way. I like the Christian life and every time that you you stick with Jesus everything will work all right we have a few requests tonight a lot of people listen and they ask for requests you know and I just play them 
I've been in the storm. So you have to be in the storm to know what it is. Too long. Love too long. I've been in the storm too long. Long too long. Have a little more time. I need a little more time to pray. Mm -hmm. I've been in the storm. Hear me, Lord. sometimes we have been in the storm and we don't even realize we're in the storm. Sometimes we are delivered from the storm and we don't even realize that we are delivered from the storm. The storms of life. The storms of things that keep us out of the love of God. the storm in our life that we create on ourselves sometimes. You know, it's so hard sometimes and so sad another time when we see the storms of life where we shouldn't be at and walk right into it. And it just sweeps us up. Take us somewhere, anywhere. Take us where we didn't want to be. Because when we get to that destination, we're battered and bruised by life. And we just have to come out of that storm. If we are weak, 
and it's hard to get out by yourself. Just call on Jesus. Call on the Lord and say, Lord, I have been in this storm too long. I have been in a storm that I have created for too long. Deliver me from this storm, O oh God. That I may stand on safe ground. That I will be away from the storms that keeps me and keeps us from your blessing, Lord. You know, we are reminded of Isaiah 54 and 17 where it says, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. But we still don't hear sometimes and walk right into the storm of life. We walk into it. And when we walk into it, we get hurt. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. But if we don't know about the Christian life, the Christian way, the godly way, the righteous way, we will continue to walk right into the storm or in the pathway of the storm. It's good to remember at all times that in the 23rd Psalm say, Yea, though I walk through the valleys of the shadows of death, I will fear no evil because thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff comforts me. That rod and staff will keep us out of the storms of life. Keeps us from going into the storm that will batter us and bruise us. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah, Lord. If we remind ourselves that through Christ Jesus, no weapon, and some of us know right now within ourselves how much a weapon has been formed against us whether physically or spiritually unrighteous weapons but thank God for who he is and for his grace and his mercies if we stand firm and stand our ground every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment, we will have the power to condemn them. We will have the spiritual strength to condemn these powers. As wicked as the tongue can be, as treacherous as the tongue can be, as painful as the tongue can be. It can also speak love. Peace. Joy and happiness. But we have to stay out of the storms. That bruise us. So much. And get into. The storm. That clears the pathway. That bruises the devil himself. That when we walk through. We will walk through like the children of Israel when they walked through the sea. And wasn't bothered by, by the water. Ask the Lord to clear your pathway right now. 
We all face a storm. We all face some storm or another. But it's time for us to stand up and look at the storm and say, Devil, is not my time, is not my pathway. Because I've been in this storm too long. And I need to be delivered. I need to be taken away from the, this pathway. And put on the righteous pathway. Where the storms of life can't rage against us anymore. Because we are covered by the blood of Jesus. And there's a hedge around us that keeps out anything that's in, in its unrighteous form to come our way. Don't stay in the storm too long. Don't stay in the storms of life that rage and rage and rage and rage in an unrighteous form. But come to Jesus just as you are. He will do the cleansing. He will do the cleaning up. Or sometimes we think we are doing the right thing and it's not being done right, it's not being done properly, it's done half hand and we get tired and we give up and go right back to where we started. But thank God, when he does something for us, he does it in its entirety. When he moves us from the pathway of our storms, he puts us on a plane and safe pathway. God is in charge. He can do everything but fail. And once we acknowledge that, we can come boldly to the throne of grace and say, Lord, here I am. Send me, I'll go. The song says, where he leads me, I will follow. Where he leads me, I will follow. But you know, there are so much things out here in the stormy world to keep us occupied. To keep us on a pathway of rampage on a pathway where sometimes it seems like no return. I heard someone say that they had gone too far and it's so hard to turn back. It's so hard to turn around. It's not hard. Just let go and let God take over. Let go of the things that so easily beset you. Let go of the things that becomes vanity and vexation of spirit. And hold on to God's unchanging hand. Because for Christ you will live. But out of Christ and without Christ we die forever. Yes, we need to do things to survive. We need to do uh, other things that go hand in hand with everyday living. But be not conformed to this world. You're passing through. Partake of the goodness that the Lord has provided. Partake of what the Lord has provided for us. He provides us with the brain. He provides us with the know-how, the hands and the feet and everything to do things, to build things, to enjoy life, to enjoy things. 
But at the same time, when we do that, don't forget that Christ is the author and the finisher of all things and of our faith. So let us not get attached to the things of this world and, and conform ourselves to this world. Because when the weapon is formed against us, it will overcome us. When the tongue come up against us in judgment, it will condemn us. And we have not the strength, the willpower, or the spiritual know-how to conquer the condemnation that the world threw at us as believers. Hold on to God's unchanging hands. Stay out of the storms of life. Don't attach yourselves to the things that makes us comfortable or more important so we feel than the next person. It's time to serve God. It's time to serve Christ and, and, and say, yes, Lord, I thank you for what you have done for me personally. Just remember this is a personal salvation. It's not something that comes and goes. In the 55th chapter of Isaiah, it says, Oh, everyone that thirsted. See, we thirst after so much things in this life. And only thirst a little bit for the things of eternity that is there to protect us and to guide us. And when we get bogged down with the things of life, we try to find a place to run, a place to hide, but we still bring our baggage with us. Come eat the waters and ye that have no money, come ye by and eat. Come by wine and milk without honey and without price. Wherefore do ye spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfieth not? Hearken diligently unto me, and ye ye, ye that which is good and let your soul delight itself in fatness let your our souls delight itself in fatness spiritual fatness oh my god when we when we acquire everything that we need that we think we need everything that we hold on to makes us fat makes us big in life and it makes us sick, uncomfortable, don't know where to turn sometimes, don't know, can't get a proper rest sometimes, can't, can't even think straight sometimes. But we should let our souls delight itself in fatness, in the spiritual fatness of the word of God. And the brother say, come full hundred for the Lord. Because he first came full hundred for us. But no, some of us think that if we give God just a third of our lives, that's enough. And we keep two thirds. Ain't no third and two thirds about God. We should give him all. Give him our all. Give him our best. Offer ourselves to him. And when we offer up for ourselves, anything that comes along with us which is right, which is righteous and good and pleasant to the sight of God will be accepted. But first we have to offer up for ourselves. And also, when we offer for ourselves, be of good courage. 
I know that the Lord will do what he said he will do for us. He will bless us. He will comfort us. He will give us life. That's promised to us. Life eternal is promised to us. But the funny thing about it, tomorrow is not promised to us. But life eternal is promised to us. We just have to live for, towards it. And live for it. Now, if we come before his presence, we feel a little sincere praise sometimes. Just say to him, Lord, I, I come before you to praise. I'm trying to be sincere, but I don't know how. Lord, I want you to fix it for me. I want you to fix me, Lord. Set me up on a rock which is higher than my enemies. Which is higher than those who are trying to condemn me which is out of the way of the storms of life that bruise and batter us so much. The Lord, I come and I'm trying to be sincere. Teach me thy way, O Lord. The disciples said to Jesus, teach us how to pray. And when he taught them how to pray, he taught them how to ask for forgiveness. Forgive us, Lord, as we forgive give our debtors. Teach us how to forgive. Teach us how to forget. And teach us how to go forward by faith. Because faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. It's something that you can see if you are not spiritually ready and equipped. The Almighty God had set so many things in place for us. And we have to follow them. We have to read his word. Live the word. Do his will. Love one another. Just come before his presence with a little thanksgiving. Just thank him. Don't thank him because you achieve something which is not godly, but it makes you happy. Don't give thanks for that because he won't hear you anyway. But thank him for preserving your soul. Thank him for pointing the way with his word that when you achieve and get something, in a rightful manner. In the manner that God will be pleased of. You can sincerely say thank you Lord. For what you have provided. Thank you for how you helped me to get over. Thank you for taking me from a low esteem to a high esteem in your spiritual realm. That my soul can look back and wonder how I got over. But when you look back at the word of God, you know that it wasn't by your strength or your might why you came through, but it was by his strength and his might. God is such an awesome God. He's such a gracious God. And when we think about all the faults that we have, all the sins that we have committed, all the places that we have been that we shouldn't have been, the things we say sometimes against each other that we shouldn't have said. And Lord have mercy when we try to rip one another apart. Let us 
come before his presence with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Find a place of worship where the word of God is being preached, teached, and try to understand who this God is. What he's all about. And what he will do for you. Talking to a brother once he said God have never did nothing for him. I said well you're just not looking at what he's doing for you. And the question was asked right away promptly. What has he done for you? That he can do for me. I said, first of all, he give me life, give me strength. And by his stripes, I was healed from the things that was keeping me bruised in the storm of this life. I look around me and see the what I, you know, how, how I came through certain things and I explain, I explain certain things to him and he said, well, if God did for that for you, maybe he'll do it for me too. I say, all you have to do is trust him. Pray. Is he, if it's even to say, Lord, be merciful unto me. The thief on the cross, all he said to Jesus, he said, Lord, remember me when thou goest in thy kingdom. That's all he said. And he was sincere about it. See, that's, that's, that's the thing. We have to be sincere when we call on the name of the Lord. And when we do things for one another, and when we try to keep out of the way of sinfulness and backbiting and you know tearing down one another today thou shalt be with me in paradise he was sincere in his heart because if he was trying to get over Christ would know that the other one he tried to you know do his own thing as you drill he said, if thou be the Christ, save yourself and save me. We have to stop holding out on God. Holding hard in on the word of God. I, I listen to this station periodically during the days. When I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, when I have the chance to. And I tune in sometimes when I have a chance to over the internet or on the radio. And all I can hear is everything about Christ and his love. Jesus, God. Something must be happening here at Choice Radio 92.9 FM, which you are listening to right now. And if you are tuning in over the internet, WestInDianPeople.com, Choice Radio. Something good is happening at Choice Radio. Be a part of it. Not just by thought or by word, but by deed. Be a part of it in deed. And in sincerity. Because I can't say this enough. Only what we do for Christ we last. Everything has failed and forgotten about. I asked a group of people once, I said, what, did you, what do you remember? On this day, last year, this time, same, same day. How much you remember what you have done for someone or someone done for you? The memory couldn't go back that far unless it was written down. But thank God, 
I hear testimony after testimony from people who remember the minute, the hour, the day, and the place when they got saved, when they accept Christ as their personal Savior, and when he reached out to them, and they reached up and held on to his unchanging hand. They remember the minute, the hour, the time, and the place. And that's something to think about. So ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, young people alike, it's time to stay out of the storm. It's time to keep away from the storms of life because it's always raging, raging, raging and brutalizes us in more ways than one. Yes, we think the things we do sometimes we accumulate a couple of few dollars and we're well off or we are fortified enough to, you know, like they say, you have something to lean on. But when the riches of this world is destroyed, when the riches of this world disappear, oh, glory to God. There should be a place where our soul is secure. Where we can go and say and, and hear the words, Welcome, thou good and faithful servant. Enter into the joys of my kingdom. And every day will be Sunday. Every day will be Sabbath. Every day will be worship day. Let's put it like that. Every day will be worship day. Because some of us are some people down here on earth fighting over the Sabbath, fighting over the Sunday, fighting over the time you worship, not being loving one another or, 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 or you know, being what we're supposed to be with one another because we worship on a different day. And we worship in different fashion. But when you be sincere with God. And stop being sincere with the church and the pastor and the people around you. Be sincere with God and build your hopes and things eternal. And you build, your, build your life around the throne of God. And have an eternal rest that you can go to. When we do that. Every day will be a worship day. There are no more name to the name or to the time and place we worship. But every day will be a worship day. And my God, that's what I want to work towards. An everlasting worship day. We can fight all we want. We can argue all we want. We can disagree all we want. We can criticize all we want. But if we are not work, working towards an eternal worship day, our worship days, where there will be no more pain, no more sorrow, no more crying, no more, no more, no more, no, no more, no more death, no more discomfort, no more storms of life, no more detour. No more dibby dibby on the left and dibby dibby on the right and dabby dabby in the middle. No more of that. But us enter into the joys of the kingdom of God where there is eternal life. My brethren and sisters, let us hold on to God's unchanging hand. Let us not conform ourselves to the riches and the vanities of this world and causes vexation. See, when we look back and read the Bible and see what others have gone through, we have the good fortune of, 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 of working towards not falling like that. Solomon had everything. And he looked at it and he said, all oh, this is vanity and vexation of spirit. 
because he couldn't handle it anymore. But let us build a life that we can handle in eternity and be happy and be glad in the Lord. And again I say, only what we do for Christ will last. God bless you. I've been in a storm Too long Lord, too long Been in the storm too long Time to get out I've been in the storm. Green, I hope you can hear us wherever you are. Safe travel. Long, too long. Too long, Lord. Have a little more time I need a little more time To pray mm -hmm. I've been in the storm Too long Yes, you've been in the storm too long when the weapon has fallen. It's time to cancel some things in life. Time to mash up some things. Time to return them back to the sinners. Oh God, yes, the devil. Yes, Lord, with prayer, I ask the Lord to give you the spiritual power to move back from the storm. I've been in the storm. I've been in the storm. I've been in the storm. First, you have to prepare yourself to receive. Been in the storm too long.
Hello to you out there in Texas. Birch family. Yes, he can move the pain. He can make you feel like it was never there. If Jesus, if Jesus can fix it. Not a two point nine FM choice radio. Streaming and live on the web, WestIndianPeople.com, choice radio. Jesus. How many know that's power in the Jesus. Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Oh, 
the name oh, Jesus. Jesus. guess what oh, Jesus. you can say Jesus in the midnight hour yes Reach out and touch him right now, Jesus. Sweetest name I know. Fam Trust Radio and listen to the gospel around your pastor Green. When I'm sad, <laughs> he makes me glad. He picks me up <laughs> when I'm so down and out. <laughs> when you talk about me <laughs> as much as you please, <laughs> but the more you talk. <laughs> Oh yes, Lord have mercy. Oh, Jesus. When they used to have big meetings up all back home from Monday through Sunday. Every night a different preacher would preach up. And on Sunday night was my grandfather's time to preach up. They didn't call them revival back then. They were just known as big meetings. I remember my grandfather going through the countryside, telling the people in the country, we're going to have a big meeting all next week. We used to have what they call a good time. Oh, back home. Come on and meet me at the revival. Come on and meet me at a revival. Where the preacher will be preaching, Deacon will be 
Captain Jim. Come, come on, on and meet me at the revival. Oh, come on, come on and meet me at the revival. You need to come on, come on and meet me at the revival. At the revival. The choir will be singing. Shut up, they'll be feeling. Come on, come on and meet me at the revival. At the revival. Listen, you better get in a hurry. You might not get a seat. Oh, yes. People coming from everywhere. Uh -huh. Hear your pastor speak. Yeah, Lord. When you get inside, there just might not be no room. People standing around the wall because they want to be there too. You need to come on and meet me at the revival. 92.9 Diverse Music. Diverse Favorite Girl. Lord have mercy. Oh, one people, you. one station. There's something for everybody once you mean Christ Jesus. Mama started down now, heading straight toward me. When she took my hand, something got all over me. That's when my feet got right. I believe Jesus turned me and I said, come on and meet me at the revival. Oh, come, come on, on and meet me, meet me at the revival. The church folks will be kneeling. Come on and meet me at the revival. Oh, preachers will be preaching. Yes, they will. Deacons will be teaching. Yes, choirs will be singing. You can hear the church bell ringing. People will be only another two point nine FM. Oh, somebody will be there saying it again. When I get to that revival, I'm gonna have a good time. It'll be shot for you. How sweet is the name of Jesus. How sweet is the name of Jesus. See, you gotta you got know him. You gotta serve him. You gotta do his will. You gotta come into his sanctuary with some praise. You gotta come in with some worship. You gotta come in, oh God, with an upright heart and a clean spirit and with our right spirit within you. Wanna, you know, just clean up, clean up your act and come in and say, Lord, here am I. Yes, only what we do for Christ will last. 
Sometimes we do too much for ourselves and do too little for Christ and it don't last. Then we complain and we say, well, you know, this, that, and the other, but thank God. When the golden bell shall ring. There's a land beyond the river that we call the sea forever. And we only reach the shore by faith we free. One by one we gain the portal there to dwell with the immortal. When they ring those golden bells for you and me. Yes. They ring them golden bells. We shall know no sins or sorrow in the heaven of tomorrow. When our parquet shall sail beyond the silver sea. My brother Eli, child away. Sister Betty, child away. God is able. Upon Nine FM Choice Radio in Brooklyn. Stepping out on faith. Staying in faith. Distributing faith to Jesus Christ our Lord. Going higher heights in faith. Deeper depths by faith. Yes. Charles Radio. Singing, it's the glory. Hallelujah. By faith with the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen until the righteous time has come. Hope your hearts and your souls were blessed tonight. As I came through with the gospel right for you tonight. See, it's only what we do for Christ is going to last. And, um, you know. Oh, yes. I'm reminded of the time. So everything, everything that we do, we do it in the name of the Lord. And as we come to a close tonight. I just want to send, you know, um, best wishes to the Birch family, Birch uh, the, the second, and Mrs. Birch. And, um, you know, um, uh, Miss Birch, please call your dad because they are, they're in, they're, the connection had been lost and no one can hear from you. So call your dad if you're watching tonight or when you get to the recording. Call your dad. Is waiting to hear from you. I haven't heard from you in, in um, a while and we're trying to reach you. Hope all is well. All right. God bless. Everything that we do. In the rest of my Let us do it in the name of the Lord. Eternal Father, most gracious God, we come before your presence right now. 
thanking you for such a grand day as this. We are thanking you, God, for doing for us what we couldn't have done for ourselves. We thank you, Lord, for keeping us in our right mind. We thank you, Lord, for being so good to us. And we pray, O oh God, that you will guide and keep the sick. You'll bless them right now, God, in the name of Jesus. We pray, O oh God, that as you bless, Lord, you will heal. And as you heal, God, you will comfort. Oh, Lord, have mercy on the sick right now. Have mercy on your people everywhere, God. Bless Choice Radio. Bless our coming together in spirit and in truth and as our hearts seek to praise you. Thank you for the opportunity, God, to come before your people right now and to give you praise, honor, and glory. We thank you, God, and we ask you to bless. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Choice ready on the air. Hi. Um, speak you off the air, please. Okay. Just hold one minute, please, all right? In everything, give God thanks. Y'all come on and go with me. God child and a Jesus kind of man and it's good to know that you're a God child and that you're a Jesus kind of man because when you know that you can tell the world that you're Holy Ghost filled and you know where you're headed you're headed for that promised land oh yeah listen And I'm spreading it wide And I'm a Jesus man And apple of God's eye You see he saved my soul To do his will And the rest of my life For him I'm gonna leave I'm holy ghost filled I'm headed for that promised land I know I am I have so many reasons To feel good When I count my blessings My cup is always full Cause when you say A mighty God like mine He'll give you a miracle More than one time I'm Holy Ghost Land. But I want you to know I'm a God's child. Jesus, Jesus kind of man. man. Let me tell you again, I'm a God's child. Yes, be a God's child and a Jesus kind of man. Jesus. Myself. 
And he made a way for me I'm a God child I'm a Jesus, Jesus. kind of man I never will forget it When they dip me down in that old muddy creek Tied a rag around my head Jesus. I said I'm a Jesus, kind of man I'm on my way, I'm on my way I'm a God child child and a Jesus kind of man. And uh, with that, we say have a good week and good night and I hope that your heart is blessed and hope that all good things come your way this week and not only this week alone but through your lives and throughout the remainder of your days because the Lord will give all the good things that is promised to us, to you, to me, to everyone. All we have to do is put ourselves in the position to receive, open our hearts, and he will come in. He said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hear me, open and I will come in. So just ask the Lord to come in today, come in to stay. And with that, we say, God bless you, and may heaven continue to smile upon you. And be gracious unto you. Good night. God bless.